Hello everyone, thanks for the patience. Let's get started. So as I said in the last videos and the well on Tuesday I guess yes on Tuesday. Uh, like I said on Tuesday I wasn't able to play the last days mostly because of work and um, the World Cup. Welcome but back. um I found the time to battle the expert AI. And uh, mostly because um, playing against all the expert AI characters, all of these, um, grants 100 gold, which is something like an achievement or a hi hidden quest. And therefore, we are now. Ah, kind of rich with 275 gold. So let's have a look at the quests. Well, I didn't stream that, of course, because games against the, the AI aren't that ambitious, I guess. So uh, let's start today with day five. Um, as I said on Tuesday, I just uh, I cleared the quests off, so we have three news here. Um, I logged on in daily, so on Wednesday and Tuesday, uh, Thursday and tried to re-roll them. As you can see it didn't work out that well because we have just 40 gold quests so far, but we can at least re-roll one of them for today. Again, so both of these are no-brainers, uh, this, uh, this quest requires class and of course it's uh, uh, annoying if uh, I re-roll re this and it becomes a win two games with Shaman Warlock or something. So I'll just re-roll that and look what we get here. Okay, just another 40 gold quest, but that okay, that's okay. So we're about 400 now. Okay, Druid or Rogue. As you may remember, we have an open arena pass on this account already. And we have a druid, so the choice is pretty much clear here. Yeah. So let's get started. I must protect the wild. Hmm. I haven't played much with Starfall in the past. I think it can be nice because of the versatility of um, the card and of course um, the AOE damage. Twilight Drake becomes usually weaker in the late game because uh, usually you run out of cards so I think I'll go with the Starfall to start here. Power of the Wild is strong but also very flexible. Wow! Three nice druid spells. I think I go with the swipe or the wrath or the innovate. All of them are pretty close, and well, this pick would be better later on because I would know the curve and so on of the deck. But I think I go with the swipe. I think I never started a draft with three spells. So I'm kind of curious how this <laughs> ends up. I take this one. Another rare. Okay. Bloodfin Ripter. <laughs> okay, uh, good news. We have another rare as uh, the sixth card. Bad news is it's all trash. At least I have three spells for the man mana addict, I guess, so. Huh. I don't think there's much difference, so I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs> this draft starts pretty, let's say, interesting. So. It's the third Rhea already? No, the, uh, the, the fourth. One, two, three. Oh. 
4 in 7 cards, but again, it's pretty trashy. <sighs> so I go with, go with the swords. Wow, another rare. But I like the Kodo. Okay, that looks more like I'm used to it. <laughs> but with um, two high health two drops, there might be some value for the cleric. And a lack of uh, and I have a lack of threes, although I like the abuse of sergeant also. But I'll take the cleric here. Epic. Oh, funny draft. <sighs> hmm. All of them can be pretty strong. Especially if I draw into... Well, yeah. I could pick a Savage Roar in the future. Hmm. This could work out. Although Big Game Hunter is very nice. Especially if uh, the game tends to get out of control and Blood Knight, well, there are some Twilight, uh, not Twilight, Scarlet Crusaders in some of the decks, so hmm. I think I'll go with the Force of Nature, most flexible one. Now the Power of the Wild. Hmm. Better than the Tide Hunter, Morgan Infiltrator? Uh, I go with this one. It's pretty flexible, and if you have board control and can buff your guys, that's pretty awesome. Uh, hmm. Snapjar or Infiltrator? And I have a lack of good two drops. So, yeah. Looks like when I can get one or two wild teachers. <laughs> Would feel like token root, I guess. I'll go with them. Just because of preference here. Another Shattered Sun? Sure. Interesting. Dark Sky and Healer, this. Huh. Not the Magma Rage, of course. One, two, three already in the five slot. Two Shattered Sun in the three slot. Pretty strange choices this time. I go with the grizzly. Not the five. Four, uh, four drops. It's a good one. Owl can be useful more than the uh, cobalt swipe. Cobalt starfall? Hmm. Yeah, I think I go with the geomancer. No weapons, I don't think. No, it's just a grizzly for one mana more, so. I go with a crocolisk, although my two drops go through the roof. Oh, another mana addict. I think I'll go with the keeper. Although the Argent Commander is pretty strong, but keeper is also, also very flexible and I have just two four drops. None of them are strong though, so I'd like to say see a Yeti or something. Innervate, Mark of the Wild. Mark of the Wild? Hmm. Well, a mana addict with Mark of the Wild could do something, at least. More golem for the late game? One, two, three, four, f well... I have no late game. I, uh, and the Ravenhold Assassin is 
nearly the only one I can drop on an empty board, so I'll take the one while I'm here. Raging Worgen over the other two. I don't think that I can get much value out of the Innovate because I don't have card draw so far. Kodo at turn 3 is nice, but it is two cards and I don't have strong bodies on the board, so I think I just need to get the most value out of the cards that I can, so I think I'll pick the Savage Raw just because of the combo here. The synergy is real. Although synergy drafts in arena are p or picks are generally bad. I could go for a second swipe, which might be cool here, but I picked the Force of Nature, so I kind of have. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of committed to this play, I guess. Otherwise, it's. Yeah. You know, deal 6 damage for 6 mana, that's not that great. I'll try my best. I've never used Savage Raw, so. in the arena, so. Um, a second swipe is really useful, I guess. So I'm not that sad about the pick before. Another swipe. <laughs> or Raging Worgen. I feel like I have no bodies in this deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven spells already. Seems a little bit too much for me. Although swipe is very good. I would like to have something like an Azure Drake or so on the deck. To have more synergy than the Geomancer. Raging Worgen? I, I think I need it. Hmm. <laughs> I have to think a lot about these picks, it's interesting. I think two swipes are enough. I don't have to worry. <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, um. Elven Archer for the Warren. Hmm. I hope that pig won't matter too much later on. Bluegill or Raid Leader? I might come into a position where I have multiple weak minions on the board that could be buffed by the Raid Leader. Or I end up with an empty board and have to drop a raid leader. Hmm. I go with the raid leader. Whatsoever. And I have a lot of twos already, so. Harvest Golem. Kurubashi. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six cards for the late game isn't that much. And I can drop Force of Nature, so as much as I. One, two, three, four, five, six. I really like the Harvest Golem, but I think I go with the Berserker just because of the curve. Another Force of the Wild, uh, Power of the Wild, or Croc. Oh, this one is they're kind of even in the summon part and adds some boost to the deck. I don't think I need Soul of the Forest. Choice is clear. Uh, wow. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how that happened, but the picks were very strange in my opinion. And I don't think that the late game 
Well, I don't... I don't have... <laughs> I don't feel like I have anybody on... Uh, so... I'm lacking strong parties on the board, except for the War Golem. So... It kind of feels like the Warrior deck that I drafted before. And at least this had a strong early game with a Warstone Commander and other cards that had great synergy. So the only two synergies that I have in the deck, which aren't um, mandatory for an arena deck of course, are Force of Nature Savage Raw and Raging Warg and Elven Archer. Um, but all the bodies that I have are quite weak. They might work together though, but I doubt it. And the late game is pretty weak. So I don't think that I can get too much out of the stack. But the curve at least is fine, despite the lack of late game. Three power of the wild. Well, it's basically it's three Bloodfriend Raptor, so... <laughs> With an Octon to buff the board. Might be a little bit too much. I have a lot of 2 drops. Which will allow me to get early board control. If I knew that I were able to pick 2 more swipes, I would have gone with the um, Wrath beforehand. But I think I have enough drops in the two slots, so maybe that's fine. Okay. I don't would really like to back my minions up there. Keep off the grove. Well, it's a cool card, but it's not a body that you want on the board. And OS is Snapjar. Well, maybe I play both of them and then three power of the wild. <laughs> and they are really strong bodies. But the stack doesn't have Im removal at all, and the bodies aren't strong, so <sighs> I'm not very optimistic here. Maybe I can profit from the Force of Nature Savage Raw sometimes to um, swing around a game that would otherwise be lost. I don't know. I'm curious though. I have to say that. So let's add the deck list. Give me a moment here. Okay, there it is. It's gone. Okay, there it is again. Okay, that looks nice. Then let's get started. Well, with the quests in the background, I have enough money to buy two more arena ra uh, passes, so at least that's fine. So it won't matter if this world. run ends up pretty weak. And at least we'll get a pack, so... One, two, three, four... Hmm. It's actually pretty strong. Working infiltrator is a nice hand to in the uh, is a nice card to have in the opening hand. So, huh? Oh, okay. I smell blood. That looks really interesting. Hmm. Oh, that one, that's pretty pretty tough start regarding my hand.
the thing is I expect him to attack me if I leave this stealth and just hit him but then he plays a 3 mana minion, let's say a harvest golem and I have nearly nothing on the board then and I don't have removal like if this was his, um, a wrath would be hmm. more comfortable but I think I go with the croc here play the snapjaw then and maybe buff it first kill I don't want to fall behind because I can't keep up with my mid and my late game which are pretty weak so I simply have to stomp in here and oh, that's a weak turn maybe he was afraid of the two damage in the first game you never know what the opponents are up to so. I go with the snap draws and then and oh, depends on his place maybe I played two power of the wild or just the raid leader to push some damage in. I'm glad about my two drops so far. None of the weak ones. Ah, try this. That's tough. Uh yeah, well um, I think Safeguard. Better for the mana, and I don't lose the right leader next turn. And I don't want to use uh, the buff just on a just on the snapjaw. And he can. Don't. Uh, I was about to say he doesn't have an obvious way to. And I was about to say that he already lost 7 life uh, or 8. Okay, here's my week 2 drop. <laughs> the right leader has some synergy with the force of nature. the mana. Handle it! Feel nature's wrath. So maybe I play Force of Na Power of the Wild next turn? Maybe together with so many weapons already. Maybe with a grizzly, yeah of course. That's cool. And I can Hit for two more with the mana addict. Ah, what a rush! It is very hard. Give that minion a turn to get ready. Okay. Of course, you have a turn, but I think you will die on this turn. But for five more damage. Now it all depends on his late game. Should have drawn the card first. Okay, that's three for three with the right lead. <laughs> it's nine, twelve, fifteen. <laughs> Okay, uh, 17 of course. Uh, what a rush. It is very hard. I'm very glad about this right leader pick <laughs> at the moment. And I can level my druid.
So I'm. I think we have a long run for today because there is no World Cup game, and my wife is out for work and comes back late. So. Malfurion versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. I must protect the wild. There's a good chance to see two or maybe three arena runs today. Or any other place. Do I want to keep the keeper? <laughs> Is this a keeper? Well, I can't dig for it. one drop. I have just two. I'll dr I'll draw into my two drops eventually. Only thing I could maybe hope for is a Shattered Sun Cleric to buff the Raptor. Ah, oh, I think that's fine. In case you uh, haven't hear heard the news, um, Job's done. that's not a card that I want that early. Um, Blizzard just announced um, that they want to release uh, the expansion in, Ju uh, in July. To be honest, I don't know what this means exactly for the series. Maybe it confuses it a little bit. I'll stick to the plan though, so... Sacrifice. The, the, don't know. Um, I don't think that my main account will fall that much behind if I don't. Maybe searching for a trap now. Feels a little bit like constructed. Well, I don't think that um, my main EU account will fall too much behind if I don't play in next Ramas the next month. Already took a little bit of damage. I think I'll go with the Grizzly here. Keeper's face is, seems a little bit wasted, and I think I don't need the silence. Or maybe f yeah, the damage for some pal like this. Power of the Wild would be nice next turn. Or this turn already. <coughs> I wonder if I want to use the Keeper now. I could also flood the board with this weak minions. Hmm. No. Hmm. I'll just do it this way. I must safeguard the land. I kind of feel in a rush again. Have to pressure early on so my weak late game don't sets me too much behind. I got the best deals anywhere. <coughs> Already too far. Oh, I have 10 damage in hand with the Savage Raw. I think I'll just try to get minions out now and use the Savage Raw maybe next turn already. Just to rush him down. Huh. But I don't have an easy way to kill the Octroneer. And. Yeah. You yeah, can expect fight. hounds in Arena, but. I had. I think I had an Hunter Arena run. Where I. Didn't see that card at, at all, so. Huh. I don't know. Of course, no. To move. Of course. Top deck it through the auctioneer, I guess. Oh, 
I really would like to draw into one of my swipes now. Or maybe Starfall. Be okay. Please are all, all of my barge, it seems like. That's too bad. Wow. He has six cards. I have. Well, okay. Doesn't look too promising for me. I got this. All the while. Maybe I have a lucky force of nature draw. Next turn, swipe to survive the next turn, or to to maintain the next turn. Then power, force of nature, savage roll. For the crusade. Wow, two weaker cards. I don't want to play the cleric on an empty board, although it will set me too, mu uh, too much behind to come back, I guess. So that's the expected weakness of the deck, of course. I'm ready. I'm not ready. So it's not very surprising at all. Wow. This really sucks. Now all my weak minions show up. They're weak we on their own. The need well. other minions to get through them. For the wild. I just go for the face and hope that I draw into my force of need nature, even though it's pretty unlikely. 18 cards left on the deck. But hey, you never know. My eyes are open. Okay. Even a swipe wouldn't be enough now. Could clear one of these minions. Maybe two with the Crusader. Yeah, two. It's not, enough, not enough at all. Hmm. Okay. Even a force of nature draw wouldn't be enough because it deals 14 damage. So I need something like. <sighs> what can I expect now from the deck? Starfall? Yeah, Starfall. And I have to survive the next round. Well, that's what I expected from the deck. It's just too, too weak to hold the board position. The minions are too weak for bodies that I can put on the board. And when I reach four, five, six mana, I don't have something to put there except for a Snapjaw, which isn't that threatening. And well, Savage Raw is a dead card most of the time. I can see. Uh, without 
Force of Nature and Ravenhold Assassin and the War Golem are the only two cards that can really be strong. Maybe the Gorbashi Berserker as well. But that's just three cards. Well, like I said, it's not too bad for this account. We get a pack, we get our heroes leveled, and we have enough gold for two more runs, so... Malfurion versus Malfurion! Protect the it's annoying that nature will rise against you. Keep the elven archer. Hope for one of the two raging morgans. Maybe she, maybe I should keep the war golem just to have something to play in turn seven. I think that would be a little too extreme, I guess. Ah. My greetings. If he wants to kill it next turn, or maybe this, it will slow him down at least. Power of the wild will be the three two, and then I hope I have something for turn three. X marks the spot. Shot. Oh, of course. Taunt this up. Gives this a 2 2, leaves this a 2. Oh, well, of course. Okay. Yeah, okay, why not? Shields up! I'll give it a shot. I can kill him with the keeper next turn if I want to. Bring me steel! <laughs> okay. So keeper, isn't there? I could put a body on the board with a snap jar, or just hmm. Well, I do it this way. Bring me steel for the wild. Next turn, the protector is strong enough to kill off the swordsmith. Hooray. This is strong enough to kill the swordsmith. My eyes are open. Hmm. Or this one. Such a mess. Okay. I have 
two power of the wilds in here. Yeah. And Savage Raw? Yeah. I have to establish some presence, I guess. Next turn I could if things go out of control I can play at the Starfall. Not the grizzly, please. Well, of course, they expect something like a swipe or an Arthur Wrath. But with this hand, I don't think I can be too cautious. Just have to put something in and hope for the best. Hmm, I wonder. Stuff of wood, wood buff, the mana addict. Hmm. What? Where shall I strike? Wow. Of course. That's a card that's definitely missing in my deck. <laughs> okay, so it's. <laughs> that's pretty interesting now. I thought he would kill the grizzly now. Okay. So this could kill. Or maybe I want. Maybe I want to wait a turn. Although that's ten damage out of Savage Raw for now. I think that's. If I don't draw the force of nature, that's one of the highest what? amounts of damage that I can expect. So I would do three, four, five. Uh, six, eight, thirteen. Okay. Hmm. Time waits for no one. I'll just have a look at this. So. Could be worse. <laughs> and I have five damage ah to a minion. Okay. Like I said, I haven't used stuff all too much in the past. It's not a stuff fire. bad now. Swordsmith uh, turns out to be very sticky. It's five, six, ten. One short. This card is. It may also be Savage Raw. Is it for a long time? I can see. But I'll never know. <laughs> 30 gold. And Savage Raw. Okay. 
Well, that that's uh, somehow the win condition of this deck, I guess. Many minions on the board, buff uh, buff them quick, and then kill off the opponent. He had a few weak cards, I'll but he also had a few very yeah. strong cards. Victory or death. I must protect the wild. Hmm. Turn two raptor, turn three uh turn one raptor, turn two power of the wild, turn three grizzly. The Monkey King. Wow, a lot of late game in my hand already. Would destroy, would crush my dreams of early bot <laughs> presence. It's time for a little blood. Okay. I wonder if I want to buff the raptor just to survive it. But uh, then I have a 4 2. Yeah. Which is significantly worse than 3 2. Uh, 4 1, of course. It's worse than a 3 2. Yeah, if I don't trade here, he plays Cleave and has the Berserker and my minions. And that would pretty much be it, I guess. Especially with my follow up plays. What now? chose the Demolisher because now I can back it up with the Grizzly. Later... Well, vice versa, he could play something like Wolf Rider or Fiery War Axe. Kill the Grizzly and they... Um, since I don't have a good follow-up play, I would have to play the, Grizz uh, the Demolisher on an empty board. Looks better this version. If he plays something like a 3-2 now, it might die. And if you play something like... Uh, I was about to say weapons, but... Yeah, that worked out well. Although my plays now are very limited if I want to kill this. Maybe I should swipe his face just to kill this off. <laughs> Would be efficient there. But If I throw the grizzly in, there's no difference. I would end up without a grizzly, and uh, okay, it, it, it makes a difference. Three health more. For the wild. Maybe I can get card advantage, and with two swipes in the hand, I can probably handle his cards. That's a weak turn. It 
second power of the wild already. I wonder if I want to play this as a 3-2 or 4-4 four, four and 2-2 two, two against the X. You couldn't kill it with the axe, but cleave an axe would also kill both. So go with the panther. Also because I have the savage raw on the deck, and more minions are more damaged with the savage raw. And it's potentially two more damage to his face. Because if he ran into the 4 4, he would take one more now. But ah, well, okay. Would have been the same outcome, nevertheless. Would have played Cleave and. Ah, would have had one more damage. I don't think that's worth. Uh, wor worth. Think. I think. <laughs> This the age worth thinking about. Okay. So I wonder if I what want to cleave this do? now. I think I can get more value out of it. And this board isn't that threatening. Could hit with the uh, snapshot next turn and then swipe something that he plays. Then I'd kill this off. Back to work. Somehow expected that. Handle it. You never. Okay, he holds this for. Him. Goes for the face. He's just one more. Uh, he has just one card left, and I have two strong cards in my hand. And Force of Nature seems pretty good here. Although, if I swipe this, kill this, kill this. Hmm. Now I have the synergy in the hand. I don't have to do this, and I have two swipes, so I just. This way, yeah. Any damage is not that great of a deal, I guess. For the wild. Person. Like to see uh, something four or less. Some few. Some few is okay. That's pretty okay. I think that's great for the board. Yeah. I just could just go War Golem. Yeah. Might be better. What? I got this. 
I was, yeah. I have to develop my board now that I do like all my late game. So. Maybe I haven't seen the Kodo, I guess. Well, I have to begin to be worried about my life total, I guess, but not too much. I'm playing it extremely safe because we were we just top decks, so my chances are good. Hey, if I, if I draw an Elven Archer, I have <laughs> two minions I can use it with. Okay. I miss Taunt in here. Except for the Sun Fury, I guess. Well, and the Grizzly. Okay. Um, two, nine. Hmm. Eleven, fourteen. I hear you. And buff no this out. Well, if this hit, it's me. And eight. We must but I want the to buff well. this out of Tiger Range. I got this. I think two cards would kill me now. One is Deathwing, and the other one is Brawl. Yay! More gold, more gold. Okay, this quest is hard with a stack. One, two, three, four, four, five. <laughs> But okay. Three uh, three wins already, so I th oh, well that might be more better already than Al buying a Durian versus Jaina You asked for it. I must protect the wild. And the deck holds not better than expected. Well, if I draw another two drop, I could coin out one, play one, or two or three drop. Snapjaw's good for the four. So. Hmm. Plan now is two, three, four, five. This can trade as a 3-3 three, three next turn if I play this as a panther. Like the games before, I, I have to rush in a bit. Sun Fury is interesting. Well, Sorcerer's Apprentice is too annoying too. Let it stay here. Ah, what a rush. Play arcane missiles for three, for three. Play frostbolt for one. All not too bad.
We must cleanse the Sunwell. Good move, actually. Two, two. Three, two, three, two, two, three. What to do? Turn five. No blizzard, no flame strike next. Uh, uh, well, at least next turn. Fifth, this is a four what three. Do that do? doesn't change anything. Next turn, I have two minions that could possibly survive flame strike. Although the straight is kind of obvious, so. Ring would be nice. Two very high health minions. At least I got him. At least I got him to drop the fireball. Rivercar great leader. Rivercar Panther hmm. Sun Fury. Rivercar Sun Fury buff. Well, if he has a flame strike, I'm screwed nevertheless, so... Well, I have a savage roll, maybe I should just play minions now. Instead of just... Ah, oh, no. I think Shields I'll up. try it this way. At least that's out of fire blast range. If he has flame strike, I'm pretty much screwed. But with my hand, Someday I'll be just flame strike like will you. destroy me. Nevertheless, so we must cleanse the sun well. Frost bolt? Oh, of course. Heart. He top decked it right away. Well, regarding his plays, I don't think that he has flame mm. strike, um, at least for now. I would really like to have a swipe here. Drop the Geomancer, swipe his face, clear the board. If I trade here. I lose the croc. Hmm. Hmm. Could play Savage Raw just to kill one of those. If I play. Well. <laughs> what to do? Pretty tough. Depends on his cards and what he draws. I just think I'll flat here. Time waits for no one. 
So the question is, do I want to hit something with a croc? damage on his face. Hmm. <laughs> well, he, he just top-decked it, so there's nothing you can do about this. It's like you have three or four, three or more minions on the board and the flame strike from his deck just climbs up and puts himself just right on the top. Now I would need the jam answer. <sighs> it's just too annoying. Is a top deck champion. <laughs> so that's Ragnaros now. <laughs> the lack of card Not draw in the do. stack is so huge. I'll put it on your hand. Next four health minion. Well, if I don't swipe this, I'll just die, so... I don't think that I have mu much of a choice here. 11, 12... I can also kill it with a Savage Raw next turn. Well, if he doesn't play a minion, it would have been better to swipe now. What to do? What to do? So I basically traded five health against one damage on the Kodo. Wow, I got the combo. So it's 14, 18 that I have in my hand. Not quite. For the wild. I wonder what this card is. And I wonder what could save me now. Maybe a war golem. Well, I guess that's polymorph. Could be possible. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. <laughs> Oh, oh. 
party event is so real. Uh. Well, I traded two for two, so. Someday I'll be just like you. And it already. I won't concede, but you need just one more damage, so just do something. We must cleanse the sun well. For the wild. Wow, now he's in combo range. Too bad my combo died. Died. Two, three, it's five. You can hit, yeah. Okay. Now he realized it. Play. Be right back. Hey, it's a moonfire. Well, five of twenty minions, five or higher. Well, okay, we already have three wins, so this far below average deck has reached the average, so I guess it's fine. Although I like the challenge to squeeze out one of the mo uh, the possible best possible results out of a thing. Oh, it doesn't seem to be the same. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. One, two, three, four. One, two. This deck is so horrible, I can't send those cards back, and none of them are really threatening. It's a shame. I thought he would Bring me ping the Geomancer and kill it next turn. But maybe he has a, a turn 3 play, so... <coughs> I'm curious. Turn 3 play. Hmm. If I play the Rate Leader, I can kill both.
Although the Geomancer would probably die. And that's okay, then he's just two mana left. Handle it! It's time! It's better than the Geomancer to die from the Demolisher itself, so. Oh. Put the attack on the right minion. Great. Didn't have a turn to play before. That's what I hoped for. He didn't draw into one. So I just time. keep on going, developing the board. It's very hard. It's always hopeful the best. Pretty generous. Free attack for all. All those weak minions are working quite cool together. Ah, okay. There's the two drop top deck. Lucky for me. That it comes that late. I think Kodo is very nice here, although I can't kill the damaged golem then. Also, might be a good idea just to. Hmm. One minor shot of a nice swipe. If he pings the swordsmith, um, it is already done. Then he's uh, slowed down. And he already did enough for the screw, I guess. Well, my board still looks better than I could expect, so I won't complain. Yeah. It very hard. And I have two minions that would survive a possible flame strike for now. That's more than I could ask for from this deck. Very few minions with health above 5, so F4. Hmm. This might be a good bar to swipe. Or just walk on them. Or the grizzly. What to do? Then what? Um, it is very hard. Job done. What the fuck? <laughs> I missed lethal, didn't I? Okay. Wow. <laughs> Huge mistake. I didn't realize that he was already that low. But of course I had a few high attack minions on the board with uh, the buff of the raid leader and the swordsmith. If I swept his face he would have died I guess. So okay. Very one-sided game here. Bad luck for him that he liked the two drop. It turned two and turned four. So. Yeah. Pretty lucky for me. But I'm glad to, that I could squeeze out the 
four wins out of the stack. I will fight with honor. I must protect the wild. That's good. One, two, three. Maybe I draw a better two drop. And I could save the Geomancer to create a synergy with the swipe. I can't uh, slow down here with just charging at this. If he has a weak turn to play, I just have to take it. Also, if he doesn't buff this, fight, then well, it would have died. To swipe. For duty. That's a very swiper move. the demolisher here. Hmm. Possible answers. Consecration. One. Send this in. Turn over. Then Kodo against this. Hammer of Wrath. Hmm. Send this I in. Wonder. Still here. Kodo. Okay. If he plays Consecration, um, then I'm glad that I played the Warring Infiltrator, because otherwise he wouldn't have. So that's great that he sat there and waited. Well, it depends on this place. Maybe I use Swipe mm. next turn. Ah, okay. This was a good answer, I guess. Maybe I should have swiped this board. First kill. Well, basically, it was a, an abusive target, a one drop, and a recruit. So. Wouldn't have been very nice to swipe this. Would have put me behind, I guess. What was my board? Without the demolisher? Morgan Infiltrator. No. <laughs> What's the right place, so I guess. Glory to the Sindora. Reporting for duty. We must cleanse the Sunwell. For the wild. Put this out of consecration range and didn't. Well, well. consecration would have been. Yeah. Had to clear this off. Blessing of Kings, consecration, and send this recruit. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Okay. Hmm. Get 
down. Repentance. Rebirth thing that I forgot the name of. Mm, I wonder. I'll test it. For the wild. Okay. Let's not get down. I have two swipes, doesn't matter. And if it's <laughs> eye for an eye. Oh, Squire, attend me. Why is it this one? Hmm. Well, Push okay. forward. This turn reverses. This was basically a one for one, which which is weak for a swipe. Didn't play this card. What does the future okay. hold? Reporting for duty. Not on my watch. Mana short for a lot of good plays. Hmm. I must safeguard the land. I definitely don't want to get hit by the a wind fury minion with blessing of kings. I'll play it safe. I feel a little bit ahead, so I can afford this. But I want to drop the Ravenhold Assassin soon. The Frost Wolves stand ready! I wonder if I want to play the Berserker here instead of the Assassin because it's more resilient but I think I'll go with the Assassin I can play Addict what mm. to do? maybe Berserker Addict? yeah that's cool Taste the mana! For the wild! Next turn I can play Assassin Power of the Wild. And this is. and buff the whole crew. Then this is a 4-4 four, four in this turn? Yeah. Okay, okay he hold it. he holds the quality for him. Northrend. Wonder if this was consecration. Okay, then Power of the Wild trade war golem. So 
So I pulled out the cons uh, the equality on both the weaker minions. Behold the might of storm wind. Good draw for him. Reporting for duty. I hear you got a problem. For the wild. I've drawn all my late game. And no dead cards like Savage Raw or First of Age. Reporting for duty. That's great. Behold the might of storm wind! Again? Really? Okay. There's my force of nature. 1420. 21. Close. Well, okay. Hmm, I wonder. Two, six, eight. Yeah. Shields up. me now is Deathwing. Deathwing would be bad. Reporting for duty. Truth is my shield. Huh, didn't thought that he could survive another turn. Just have to figure out if he can. No. For the wild. It's not. It's not. Oh. <laughs> I got this. Hmm. Five wins. I'm actually well, glad about this. Turned out better, way better than expected. So, what level is my root now? better than this. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Very straightforward. Next draws Forest of Nature Raven Dishes. Then I have the whole curve. I don't like that he pointed that out. Basically means he has uh, follow-up play, I guess. Or something to play. Which is kind of a follow-up follow play. So. Uh, yeah. If he clears it off, it's... Can reduce much of the tempo. Ah, okay. Oops. Just has one attack. Too bad. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Missing the synergy here, but increasing the board extremely. Yeah. Next turn, I can either play some. Uh, one shot, 
If he wants to kill the archer again, he's just two mana. That's actually pretty bad, but I'll give it a shot. Unexpected. I wonder if I picked some of these cards over uh, Wrath. And I don't think that I will win this game. Doesn't feel like it. I wonder. Although I must safeguard. You. We'll see. For the wild. I would really love to see a Ravenholt Assassin or a War Golem next turn. Snapjaw! Shields up! Wow. But I think I have to go for a big 50-50 here. If I don't hit it. I 4 attack for the 7. This would be bad. If I hit it though, I can mm, I easily wonder. clear this off. Get a much, be much better bot control, which survives Flamestrike also. So. Snapjaw, snapjaw, snapjaw. Yes. Sorry about that. Well played. My thanks to you. Um. No, clean this up. nature's wrath. Ah. <laughs> I'm frozen. Uh. Okay. I'm waiting for no one. That's not too bad because both still su would survive flame strike and none of these would. So it was the right play, but hmm. I hear you got a problem. So what I wanted to say was it was the right play, but I oversaw that I'm frozen. <laughs> so it wasn't a mistake, but <laughs> it wasn't right either. Let the pain <laughs> sloppy to me. Okay. Digging for cards. It's Actually, a good sign, I guess. You shall not pass. Oh. According to this play, no, I don't think that I want to flame strike this board, especially especially because. <laughs> Uh, he has flame strike, potential flame strike, fire blast next turn, and I would have to reveal the Ravenholt Assassin in order to kill this. So what? I think we I'm must cleanse this way. the sun well. Kill this off. Then what? Can't 
be can kill both and be safe of flame strike. Time waits oh. for no one. But I don't want to get in too much value out of this acolyte. <laughs> so I'll just take the risk there. It's definitely a board worth flame striking. I, I I thought about buffing the Kodo out of flame strike range, but no. Fire blast is also a also a thing, so wouldn't have made a difference. What to do? What to do? Well, I would have burned two mana, but it's not much of a difference. Flame strike. And tell me, don't tell me that's I can this card. Taste the mana. You know, take candle. Blizzard? <laughs> Quite an interesting play. But I like it. Okay, now we are somewhat even on cards. Force of nature to clear this board. What to do? Hitting one. Buffing this at, uh, would leave me where? Of course, I could easily clear it with. Oh uh, well, win this game with a savage roll, but I don't have it. So hmm. seventy cards is too much to expect something single draw, so I'll just do it this way. Okay. And I screwed up. Oh man. Can kill this, can kill this. Oh no. Okay. We must cleanse the sun well. Doesn't make a difference. Basically, it's his three cards against my three cards. One from the deck, one in my hand. This um, quality here is pretty low, so. Hm. Yeah, I think I have to do this. So now it's top deck wars. And I pray to Iron Jesus for my wall golem. Or at least the Gorbashi. Hmm. A grizzly! Well. For the wild. I think he's holding this card for a long time. And this is the one from the last turn, so I wonder what these are. Fireball? Pyroblast? And this Shattered Sun Cleric? Frostbolt. Third Frostbolt. Was it the third? I think so. I can taste the mana! For the wild! He drafted a lot of frostbolts. I think that was from the last turn. Shields up. For the wild. I wonder what cards he's holding now. Fireball, pyroblast, archmage into into nidus. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> was an average bomber. I 
I guess he expect, expects me to trade here. Or maybe flame strike now? Not this one, maybe this one. I got this. For the wild. He would have played another blizzard. I'm curious about this card. Okay, this one is also a kind of cult. Okay. Yeah, my wall golem. Polymorph. I guess it's polymorph. For the wild. Let's screw all my plants. Polymorph, fire blast. For cleared. Polymorph! Haha! <laughs> uh. Good news is I solved the riddle, bad news is it was a polymorph. That's basically it. I wonder if there weren't other targets worth polymorphing? This was a very old card. And why does he have three now? It's not fair. What we do? Gurubashi Berserker, please, deck. Oh, I have a savage raw in here. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> well played. Yeah, of course, there it is. Totally useless now. And he can buff his own Berserker through. Huh. If he hits his own berserker and hits two times face, I can savage draw and kill both. Okay, I can do this. Guys, I hate to disappoint you, but I think that this game is actually lost. Raging Morgan, cool. It's nine, ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well played. Thank you. Okay. Wipe. Nice. Okay. At least level 8 now. I think 5. 5 wins is very okay for this deck. I think this deck was a very much below average deck and it turned out to be very well. Had a, well, I had a lot of t t uh, early game. A weak amount of mid game and a poor amount of late game just uh, regarding the curve if you look at the quality of the minions they were pretty bad except for this one crazy game against the mage where i where my raid leader my sword set myth and i think the snapjaw stood around and buffed each other very well and i think the grizzly of course too yeah. But other than that, the quality of the bodies I could put to the board was very poor, so I didn't expect it to go f 5 wins. Optimistically, I would have guessed 4 wins, I guess. So overall, this was a very good run with this deck. And I didn't know why I dropped it that way. It just happened. Okay, so let's have a look at our rewards. Pack, of course. 
45 down. So, and since we put 150 gold in here, it's like we paid 95. That's better than a pack plus dust. Perfect. You can ask for no more if you open a new account, I guess. So, let's check what is in here. Ah, just a regular pack. Too bad. Another deckhand, I think it's the third with this account. Kind of cold. Oh, okay. I think I wouldn't be surprised if one of those two two cards, or maybe both, are Earthen Ring Farsia. Oh, Leper Gnome. Mad Bomber. Hmm, pretty cool. And a Frothing Berserker. That's actually like pretty cool with the Novoria deck, of course. South Sea Deckhand. Leper Gnome. Ah. Good cards for an Agro, agro Warrior deck, I guess. So, um, what's the plan now? Okay, this, yeah, ah, uh, well, this will be completed soon. So, I have 410 gold, spend one on Arena, of course, Druid Rogue Paladin. We'll think about this later. So, we have, uh, well, basically, it's at least two more Arena runs with this gold, and I plan to cycle it. So, um, I'm going to have lunch. I think that will take about 30 minutes or so. Then I'm back and then we can continue th this glorious runs. These glorious runs. So, um, I'll stop here. I'm back at 30 min in 30 minutes, I guess. And we'll see us then. Or if you're watching the video, then or stopping to stream here, then of course, thanks for watching as always. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. And see you next time around. Bye bye then. <laughs>